Well, in honor of Arbor Day and the wonderful volunteers, Girl Scouts of Colorado is planting trees across the state to help restore forests um, affected by forest fires, floods, and other natural disasters. So a tree will be donated for each volunteer, like my friend here, Chris Bruin. And he, we are joined today along with uh, Shannon Weaver with the Girl Scouts of Colorado. So great to have you both here. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Chris, let's talk about how you decided to become a volunteer first. I became a volunteer for Girl Scouts when my daughter told me that she wanted to be a Girl Scout and there wasn't a troop at her school. Okay. So I started a troop for her and ran it for about a year. Oh, that's fantastic. And it's a great way for dad and daughter to bond. Absolutely. It's yeah. a great way to see her explore the world and take an active participation in that world that she's exploring. Sure sounds like it. What are some of the volunteer opportunities you've had? I have been, um, well, the troop leader. I've mm -hmm. also been the cookie dad, the so cookie I've dad. helped sell all the cookies and organize that. Uh, and this year, I, I stepped back a little bit from that, and now I just assist the troop that she's with right now. Okay. And I, I help out and give rides and you know help out with the chaperoning and doing some of the classes and such that we do okay. for the badges. What have you learned as a volunteer, and why is it important? I have learned quite a bit about how all these different young ladies grow and develop and learn about the world around them. One of the things that I, teachers are going to look at this and go, well, no kidding. They all <laughs> take in this, these badges in a different way and you have to be able to present it just a little differently so that, that it'll click with them. That's, that's a really interesting point. What do you think the girls have learned from you? Well, and what, what do you hope they've learned from you too? Well, what I hope they've learned is that, well, especially when I was the troop leader, it was my first year as a troop leader, I didn't do the best of work there, I'm sure. Every once in a while I fell flat on my face and kind of had to wing it. I hope they learn that it's okay to fail and that we learn more from that than we do from getting it right all the time. Okay. What would you say to other people who think that they might want to do this or encourage them to actually step up and help the Girl Scouts? This is a great chance to learn what your daughter is experiencing in the world and take an active participate, excuse me, participation in their growth. and just be a part of their growing up and just to see the light in their eye when they when they realize how things work through these badges that Girl Scouts presents to them. Terrific, thank you. Shannon, why are volunteers like Chris so important to the organization? Because our volunteers at Girl Scouts, the men and women who get involved, are they're absolutely vital to our organization. They're important because they give their all to everything they do for girls and in support of girls, and we couldn't have Girl Scouts without them. We're yeah. so thankful for everything that they do. Well, we should mention this is Volunteer Appreciation Month, so is. what is GSCO doing to um, recognize the volunteers? This year we decided to purchase thousands of seedling trees in honor of our volunteers, and like you said earlier, those trees will be planted all across the state in areas of high need that have been affected by wildfire and flood. We felt that it was the perfect gift to match what our volunteers do for girls because while our trees will have a long lasting positive impact on the environment, the same is true for the impact that our volunteers have on girls. What a great, great gesture and a great relevant um, yes, acknowledgement. we're so excited about it. Yeah. And we've had a lot of positive feedback I from bet our you have. I'll bet you yeah. have. Um, who should volunteer? Who can volunteer for the Girl Scouts? Any adult over the age of 18 can volunteer for Girl Scouts. We welcome everyone. So um, men, women, it's great to have dads involved like mm -hmm. Chris. In the troops, we have lots of dads who step up to be cookie dads or troop leaders. It's great. And lots of women, too, of course, who are volunteers. Um, I would say that the only requirement to be a volunteer besides being over the age 18 is you have to be ready to have fun. Mm -hmm. You have to be prepared to be flexible, have a great time with the girls, and just be supportive of their experience as they learn how to be girls of courage, confidence, and character. Yeah. Did you have fun? I did. I had a blast. <laughs> I bet you did. So much Chris fun. is a great guy, and yeah. yeah, I know that his troop went on lots of outdoor adventures. Oh, that's too. terrific. It was wonderful. Yeah, that's terrific. What other opportunities? You were mentioning a couple, but other volunteer opportunities? Yes. Besides being a troop leader or supporting a troop, as Chris does, you can also be a volunteer trainer. Or we have mentors who help girls who are earning their gold award. Or you can get involved in our outdoor programs and our outdoor adventure club for older girls, especially if you enjoy being in the outdoors oh, yourself. Lots, lots yeah. of people in Colorado so do. Absolutely, there's lots of great opportunities. And where should we go to find out more information about volunteering? You can go to the Girl Scouts of Colorado website. And when you get to the website, click on the Join Now button, which will take you to a page with all the information that you need 
about becoming a Girl Scout volunteer. And if you have a girl in your life who would like to be in a troop, that same page will give you that information about how to register her for Girl Scouts. Okay, wonderful. Chris, you actually brought your daughter here. I did. I want to meet your daughter. Come Emma, on in. Come on Emma. Over here. We want to say hello. <laughs> Tell me again why you chose to volunteer um, for her Girl Scout troop. She wanted to be a Girl Scout, and I look at Girl Scouts as a fantastic avenue to help build strong young women and, and create leaders in our, in our community. And so when she said she was interested in doing it, I was all for it and made sure that it was possible. And I made sure that it happened for her. What, tell me your name again. Emma. Emma, what did you think about your dad volunteering for your <laughs> troop? Well, I thought it was... I don't even know. <laughs> you don't even know. Was it just so great to have him there with you? I know you did a lot of outdoor adventure and you did a lot of trips together. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. good. Uh, what do you think she learned, again, by having you with her by her side? I think that she learned that uh, adventure happens everywhere that we've done. It, we usually go on adventures <laughs> by ourselves in the mountains, but we've also now done adventures downtown and in other places. And the exploration of the world around her can happen anytime and using the Girl Scouts as an avenue is a great way to do it. <laughs> I love it. Emma, Chris, and Shannon, thank you so much for being with thank us you today. For having us. Absolutely. Well you can sign up to be a volunteer for the Girl Scouts of Colorado. You can call 877-404-5708 or 303-607-4880 for more information or me email inquiry at gscolorado.org. There are several volunteer opportunities from helping with cookie sales, volunteering at summer camp or even leading a troop. You can read all about it on their website at girlscoutsofcolorado.org.